Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic on a very cold day in the UK and uh, absolutely fascinating looking puzzle today. Um, clean slate it's called and you can see why there is basically very little in the grid in the way of numbering or any kind of hint about numbering. I mean, I'll look at that in a minute. Uh, I'm not a big fan of indexing puzzles normally, so I may struggle badly with this, and it looks terrifying, but wow, looking forward to it. Um, so, what's going on? We've got Patreon still. There's time to enter the J. Dyer competition. Uh, closes on the 20th, the numeric alchemy. It's brilliant, and everybody who's written in about it says so. It is absolutely fantastic. There are a couple of sticking points for people and they have to get past them. Uh, Jay has just come up with something extraordinary there. Um, and also on Patreon, all sorts of stuff, including uh, unboxing videos and um, crosswords and other Sudoku content. Let's also remind you about the apps and um, what else have we got? We've got uh, merchandise. You can check out the Discord server. The catalogue of all our videos, um, which is maintained now by Vebby. Thank you to Vebby. Special shout out for them. Um, and I didn't actually check the catalogue to see if we've done a puzzle by Seren before, but I don't believe we have. I think this is a debut and it shapes up to be an astonishing one. So let me tell you about the rules. Now, it's not one to nine in every row, column, and box, the normal Sudoku rules. Instead, it is one to nine in every row and column. So one to nine in there, one to nine in there, but one to nine in every marked region instead of box. Um, so this is an irregular Sudoku. Now, this is an indexing puzzle. Digits in column one indicate the column in which the digit one appears in that row. For example, a six in row two, column one, means that row two, column six, contains a one. Uh, the same applies to column nine with the digit nine. So if you had a six here, that would mean nine appeared in column six. Um, digits in rows one and nine similarly indicate the rows in which digits one and nine respectively appear in that column. So those are the rules. I mean, indexing puzzles, great for computer programmers, less great for numpties like myself. Um, it's a really interesting idea. I have no idea how we're going to work out what the numbers actually are in this. I can sort of see that you could do something with ones and nines in my mind, but then what? Anyway, do give it a try on the link under the video. You may be judging from the video length uh, how hard it is, although that may not be a guide because I may not get my head around it in a way that you could. So anyway, I've no idea. Stop waffling about what's going to happen, Mark, and get on with the puzzle. Let's uh, let's restart the clock and let's get cracking on this clean slate. So we're going to need to do some thinking about what it, what the whole concept means. Maybe we're going to have to think about the corners. Because, I, I mean, I can immediately see that you could put a 1 there and a 9. No, you couldn't. You couldn't put a 9 there because that would imply that 9 went down here. Right, that doesn't work. One here is certainly possible, I think. Then 9 could be in one of these places. No, it can't. Hang on, hang on. Where does nine go? Gosh, I so don't understand this concept. I'm such a numpty. Stop guessing and start thinking. Right, you could. I'm still guessing. I, despite saying that, I think this is a legal setup. So in, in row one, the one appears in row nine and column nine. And in column nine, the one appears in row one and the nine in row nine. 
So that would work, but who knows? I mean, maybe it's right. It's just a guess. Now, what can you and can't you do? No, I mean, the thing I was having a thought about, where does 9 go in this column? Oh. No, that's annoying. Wherever 9 goes in this column, it's fine. It's doing its job. It, if you have a 9 here... Oh, I see. If you have a 9 there, it's it, it does its job for the row. It tells you that 9 is in column 9. But it also requires a 5 here to say that... Is it a five that the nine is in column five? That would also, what would it say for row one? Oh, nothing. It's not, no, it's not saying that the nine is in row one. I don't know what to think. Ah, OK, you can't have a 2 here because you'd have to have two ones there. Right, that's something. So this can't be 2, 3, or 4 for that reason. I wonder if it's going to end up being 5. Hang on a sec, let me think about this. It can't be 2, 3, or 4 because with a 2, you'd have two ones there. They'd both be in the same region. With a 3, you'd have ones there and there. And with a 4, you'd have ones there and there. The trouble is, I'd love to rule out 6, 7, and 8, but the only place that 1 could then appear in the box is here. Oh, no, that 1 can't be here. That's good. 1 can't be here because those would both have to be indexing 2s in the row and column. Right, so 1 is not there, and it is not in any of these positions either, because that would put a 2, 3, or 4 here, which would be impossible. So I think 1 is in one of those two positions in row 1. And this can't be 6, 7, or 8 either, because 1 is not there. That would require these two 2s. If this was 6, say, uh, sorry, if that was 6... You'd be putting ones in those positions, and now one couldn't go in box. Well, this box in the top left. So that is not six, seven, or eight. So that is one, five, or nine. Now, all of those possibilities have a certain amount of appeal. One, because it would get the one out of the way in this box. And one can only be... in two of these positions, can't it? I think. I just... One cannot be here, can it? Because those would both have to be twos. It can't. That's definitely right. So one is in red in this box. It is indicating its position. One in this cell is, is appealing because it would get the one out of the way in the box. And it would answer both the requirements of this cell for the row and the column. However, five's also appealing because it kind of puts one here. I don't think nine is possible anymore because one in this box has to be in one of those two positions. So I think that's one or five. And that's taken me a long time to get to and is probably a very simple deduction. It doesn't tell me anything about the rest of the puzzle, as far as I can see. Oh, but this, yeah, it's this shape in box one. This is interesting. Is it? The numbers that go here and here. If they're ever the same, if any of these five are the same as any of those four, whatever number that is that is the same is going to have to go here in this corner cage. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, 
Let's think about this a bit more. What does it mean? Do, mm, the only way that's not happening is if these nine highlighted digits are all different. Which is certainly possible, but just feels weird as an idea. And this number has an effect on nines as well. So if you had a three here, that would put nine here. What does that do? Puts three and nine in this area of this region. Oh, this is so odd. Um, I just don't... I don't know, it feels different. Maybe it's because of the shape of bo this top left box. But it doesn't feel like the same constraints apply to nines as apply to ones in the puzzle. And that's really weird because there must be some symmetry. Um, I don't understand. I'm really struggling with this, sorry. I need to just get some thoughts together. So, if that was five, there'd be a one there. Oh, but the, oh, these these are these are interesting cells because I've only just got this in my head that these are acting on. Ones for the row, well, for, well, that is acting on one for the row and nine for the column. That is acting on nine for the column and one for the, for the row. It is. Oh, I see. So if that was a seven, you'd have a one here. Oh, that would put a nine here. Right, if that was a 7, it's saying there's a 1 in column 7 in this row. So you'd have a 1 there. That is saying <coughs> that the nine, the, the 1 in this column is in row 9. So that would be a 9. And that is saying... Well, that's... First of all, for the column, that's just saying that there's a 1 down there. But for the row... No, for the nine, yes, yes, that's going to put a two here, isn't it? No, a it's going to put a seven here. That is a nine appearing in row seven. Oh, that's strange. Are these always the same? If this is a five, you get a one here. That puts a nine here. And that puts a five here. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay, what a... Right, that's going to work for everything from 2 to 8. If that's a 1, then that is saying... Well, then you're going to need a 9 here, which I don't think we're allowing as possible. Yeah, we're not, because you'd never get a one in this in this box. That's right. Okay, I've got my head around that. But could this be a nine? I bet it could. Let's just get rid of those experimental numbers. That would put a one here for the row. For the column, that would put a nine here. Again, these are the same. These are always the same. Oh, of course. Right, I'm going to colour them in a moment. But I just want to... Yeah, that would put a one here. That's that's certainly possible. 
But what we've now established is that those two are always the same. And look, look what that does in box one. They're, they're blue cells now. Yeah, which is a slightly off blue, so it looks different from that blue. Okay, good. That means that in this box, they can't be in any of the red cells because the blues are looking at them. So blue goes there. <laughs> Quo Vardis. Or uh, I don't know what the Latin for blue is. Aqua Vardis. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay, is this interesting? Can we use this? That's going to restrict blue to one of those cells in this shape. Uh, it's going to restrict it to one of those four. Come on, let's keep... Oh, it's one of those three. Let's keep punching blue around the box. Yes, it's one of these four. Oh, it almost does something. I'm going to keep this colouring. It looks interesting. But... And it's not one blue, but I don't know what it is. Or do I? Can it actually be nine? Yeah, it could, because the nine there, if that's what was happening, would require eights in of those two positions. No, twos in those two positions. And I think that works all right. Okay, so oh, all I've learnt is... that blue is quite restricted. Have I really not got more than that out of this? Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't thought about is the law of leftovers, right. Look at these four shapes, three shapes, and compare them with the top three rows. Ah. <laughs> The differences are that those two cells are in one set of three lots of one to nine, and those two are in the other. So those two must be the same as those two. Neither of these can be blue. So if that's blue, that's blue. So now in this row, one of those three is blue which I could easily have got another way by considering that that blue is used up for that shape and blue is used up in those two columns so it was always going to be one of those three I don't know is I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and remember that in case it helps ah there might be more leftovers things to do yes those two cells are the same as those two now how can I use this fascinating insight that probably doesn't do anything I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to think about these numbers now. Come on, is this one or five? If it's one, Or maybe think about blue. If blue is two, that puts a nine here, which puts a... Didn't that put a one here? Or have I got this the wrong way around? Two puts a nine here. Now I'm really confused. I can't even remember what I did earlier. This is ridiculous. Said so if that was a five, that's oh no, this is choosing where one goes in the row. Sorry, if that's a two, that's a one, that's a nine, and that's a two. This is the lesson I got. Hmm. It's a big deal if that's a one. Then one's in one of these positions. I am really terrible at indexing. It just makes no sense to me. It's not something I can just think of logically. I'm sorry, this is going to take ages if I can do it at all. 
I just need to think a bit more clearly. Now, this number cannot... I don't know. I don't know anything about it, do I? Oh, or do I? Right, let's just guess again. Let's say that was a 6. Now, that is saying that in the column, 9 appears in row 6 there. But in the row, is it saying anything? I'm so confused. No, it's not, is it? The nine appear appearing there is just a nothing becomes a self-referential digit and it's fine. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I've just got to rethink what the heck I'm learning here, if anything. It doesn't seem to be much. There is some point just out there beyond the horizon of my understanding. What is going on? Where does two go in this box? In fact, where do two, three, and four go? Obviously, that's one candidate place for them. But if they go in these cells, that puts a 1 in columns 2, 3, or 4. And if they go in these cells, that puts a 1 in rows 2, 3, and 4. And there must be a match. Say you had a 1 here. That would make this a 2 and this a 3. And then where would 4 go? I don't think it could go in these positions because it would require that to be a 2, a, a 3 or a 4 again. And it couldn't go in these positions because it would require one of these to be a 2 or a 4. Yeah, OK. What I'm going to assert now is that you can match up a 2, 3 or 4 in these positions, but only one of each. And you've got to fit in 2, 3 and 4 into this box. So one each of them can go in those cells, and then the other one is going to go in one of these. Um, which is weird, but it's possible. Okay, can blue be 2, 3, or 4? What would happen if blue was 2? Does it mean anything? Okay, down here it means that's a 9. And down here it means that's a 9. Up here it doesn't really do anything at all. Is that OK?
I think it's all right. Am I, what does it, it doesn't mean anything for column one. In column one, does that two mean anything in column one? Oh yes, column one is, this cell is, it's not where the one goes, is it? I don't think I, I don't think I've understood anything. I think those blues can be two, three, or four, as well as anything else. It would be nice if they couldn't, because then that would have to be two, three, or four. Gosh, I don't understand a thing about this puzzle. Didn't these have a double meaning? Digits in column one indicate the column in which the digit one appears in that row. Oh, this is nonsense. Right. They can't be... If they were two, that would put ones in those positions, doubling up in the box. Of course it would. Of course it would. I, this is what I don't understand about indexing. Right. These cannot be two, three, or four, so that can't be two, three, or four. So one of two, three, or four is in each of those areas, giving us a one somewhere in this box. And the other one is here, I reckon. It's not here, because that would give repeat ones, yes. In fact, these, these also, they can't be six, seven, or eight either because that would put ones in these positions and the only place for one in the top left box would be there. And it can't be one because we're positing that it's six, seven or eight. Right, these blue cells are one, five or nine. And this is two, three or four because we've got one of them here, we've got one of them here and none of them here. And now that's not a one, so this is a one I reckon. And blue isn't one, blue is five or nine. We do get that one in the top corner, which has surprised me a bit. Now, blue is not five. Because in the row Isn't that saying that there's a, no, in the column, there's a one there and a one there. That's possible, actually. And if it's nine, there's a one there. Okay, so I don't know. I think blue can be five or nine. misunderstanding this totally probably am does oh no a five there requires a nine here and that is not a nine so that is a nine oh it's just so slow on this I'm so sorry never mind right so blue is nine so shall I take out let's take out all the coloring stuff let's call them proto nine I mean corner mark nines um, Okay, well, they f they feel quite important, but they don't actually... Right, there's a one in one of these three cells because of that two, three, or four. I'm not afraid to corner mark across boxes sometimes. There's a, there's a single one in one of these that matches a two, three, or four there with a two, three, or four here. Nine in one of those cells says that one of these is eight, indexing that nine. Oh, it also makes this one looking down, no, this one looking up at that nine 
six, seven, or eight. Yes, it does. <coughs> These possible nines. Oh, these nines give us twos in those positions. I've only just seen that. Well, that's getting interesting. It's like digits in the grid. Um, right, in column one, two is now in one of those two positions, and one is there, which is being indicated by that two. And that is giving us the other three or four there. We've got two in that box, so that's not a two. Now we've got a three, four pair in row one, and that is not a one. We've got a little X-wing on ones. Um, ooh I think the one in this region is now either here or here. Uh, because... We could only have one run, one one in that little box, and it's going to be in one of those cells. The one in this column rules out that. The one there rules out those, so we're left with those two. But anyway, I don't know which it is. If it was here, that would be a three. This would be a five. Okay, do I need to think about... Ah! Yes, this X-wing tells me that this is a 2-5 pair. Because one of those is an X because of that 3 or 4. Yeah, this is what these blinking indexes do. And I just can never figure it out. So 6, 7 or 8 means there's a 1 somewhere along here. 6, 7 or 8 in these means there are 1s in these positions. But we've already got the 1 in that region. Now... How are we going to get a 1 into this region only in one of these two cells? If it was here, I think that says something impossible. That says that's a 9, which it's not. So that is a 1. And this isn't. And that makes this an 8. And now these two aren't 8s. And there isn't a 1 there. There is a 1 in one of these two cells, which makes one of these two a 4. Oh, I find this so weird. You know that because you're watching me do it, and I am not smart. Okay, here's something. Here's something slightly smarter. Ha! 5 can't, is in one of those cells, so it can't be in any of these. So 5 in this region is in one of those two. But I don't think 5 can be there because that would put a 9 here by the indexing, and then there'd be nowhere for 9 to go in this region. So that's not 5, and that is. I'm quite proud of that one. Um, this other cell is whatever that is, 6 or 7, and that is putting a 9 in one of those two positions, which is fine. We do need a 9 in this region. Now, the third 9 in rows 6, 7, and 8 goes in one of these cells because this region needs a 9. And that's going to either put 6, 7, or 8 here or 8 here. No, we know that there... Oh, no, it's, an, it's a 1 that we know is in this region. Bother. In fact, oh, I thought we knew 9 was in one of those two cells. Either this is 3 or 4 or that is 3. because of where 9 has to be up here. Now, 9 in one of those two places puts a 3 in one of these two. We've either got, because of this, we've either got 4 or 5 there or 4 here. That's not helpful. That is frankly just extra confusing. Ah, 9 was in one of those three positions. If it was there, it was going to be there, using the law of leftovers, which I'd forgotten all about. That was quite important, actually. There's two reasons. One is because if that was a 9, it was going to have to go here. And it can't, because there's a 9 there. So that's not a 9. So now 9 is in one of those two, and not there. And this is, therefore, 4 or 5. And that can't be 3, can it? 
we've worked out this is six or seven. Oh, it's not looking at nine. One of those two is a three. Oh, I keep looking at the wrong index. Okay, this is all right. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I trust I'm okay. Um, now, I, there was something in my mind that I was just about to do. I may even have said something about it, and now I've forgotten what it was. We have a nine there. I don't know. That's so annoying. It's gone. One of those was a nine. One of those is a nine. So none of these are a nine because we've used up the nines in rows six, seven, eight. That's not a nine either. So one of these cells is a nine. Don't know how to use that. I'm not going to pencil mark it either. It's a bit too messy. Hang on though, one of these is a 9 because again putting the third 9 in row 6, 7 or 8 here stops all those having a 9. So one of these is a 9. Putting either 5 here or 4 or 5 here and either 7 here or 6 or 7 here. Oh, 2, it has to be in one of these cells. Probably not interesting, but but actually I got much further thinking about the 2 and 5. Right, let's think about this 3-4 pair. What are they... The trouble is these boxes aren't quite so restricted as that one was. 6 or 7 there, we get a 9 in one of these. That creates a 4 in one of these. 9, 2, 5, 6, 1, 7. In fact, these are... These include... <clears throat> no, the 9 there didn't put a 4 here. The 9 there put a 3 in one of those. The 4 there relates to the 1 here. Right, these are... They include 3, 4 and 8. Well, that one's a 3 because of that 1. Why don't I just look at these? 4 is putting a 1 there. 8 in one of these is putting a 1 somewhere in these cells. And the other one is 6 or 7, putting a 1 in one of these cells. Can we... So the 6 or 7 puts a 1 there. The 8 puts a 1 there. The 4 puts a 1 there. Can we do some regionalizing to work out where the 1 is? The trouble is this region could get a 1 there from the ones above. So it doesn't need a 1 there. This region's 1 though. It can't come from this row. And it can't come from this row, which is putting a 1 in one of these cells. This region's 1 has been decided by these 9s, which put a 1 in the corner. Wasn't this one of the arrangements? Probably the first arrangement I posited as working. Brilliant. Right, so that region's 1 was done ages ago. I just didn't notice it was done. And that is not... Oh, it stops those... Right. It stops those being yellow. So that puts a 1 here. That puts an 8 here. That puts a 5 here. That makes this a 4. That puts 9 there and not there, which is a pity. But that puts makes this a 3 down here. It's funny. When it comes, it comes on the run, doesn't it? Now, oh, now these purples can't be purple because we've got a 1 in the box. That is a 1. That is putting a 6 here on the indexing and a 7 up here. This has become this has become a 7, which puts 9 there. Now I am beginning to understand how we get numbers into this puzzle. They just flow. Right, let's get rid of all the colouring there. That did its job for me. I'm sure you didn't need it. Now, we've got a 1 in this region. That's not a 1. The X-wing is resolved. Well, that gives us 2 and 5 and numbers at the top. 4 there and 3 there. That's what... Oh, this one's done as well. That, sorry, this one. That's a 6. 
That's seven, that puts a one here. That works for the boxes. This must be a two. And we've got all the ones in the grid, surely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How are we doing on nines? We've got five of them in only. Right, let's start finishing that off. This can't be seven, so that's not nine, which we can see from the thingy, thingy, thingy. That's not eight, therefore. This is now a 924 set because of those digits looking down. So one of those is a 4. And these are 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, no, we know that's a 3 because we've got the 9. And that's not. These are 5, 6, 7, 8. The 8's obviously in one of those, putting a 9 down here. This is six or, well, whichever nine that is, is giving us six or seven. Maybe, maybe Sudoku. Oh, look, nine in this region. It's just done. It's here. That makes this an eight. Ah, oh, that makes this a six. That puts nine here. That puts eight here. This isn't nine, so these are in rows four and five. So are those, so there's a 9x-wing left in the grid, leaving this to be a 5-7 pair, and this is a 6, which is exactly what it is. Okay, so that's all the indexing done apart from that pair. Right, now let's do some irregular Sudoku, because I'm better at that than indexing. 2-7 there to finish this box. Um, what boxes look quite complete? Not that many, weirdly. That digit is going to have to be the same as that one because of row two versus the middle top shape. Oh, and look, I can work out what it is because in the column, column four, right, the reason those two are the same is because in this row, those four go with seven, nine, one, two in the row and with 9172 in the region, leaving those digits outstanding. So those purples are the same. Now this purple sees 691273, and this purple sees 5 and 4 in the box. So those are 8s. Thank you, purple. I can depurpleify those. This is 3, 6, and 7, so this is 8 and 2. Um, I think this is going to actually get easy. The only place for four in the region is there. And I mean, it's about time it got easy because I'm so bad at this sort of puzzle. Five there, three and six in those positions. Um, now that's not six in this column. That's three or seven. That's not a seven in the column. Seven, one, nine, eight. I probably won't really get easy. Anyway, four or five in those cells for the column. Come on, just keep thinking. That's what to do. Um, that can't be three, so it's four, five, or six. Two, one, four, eight. One of those is nine. That's not seven. So it's three, five, or six. Hmm. Okay, law of leftovers. Let's do that. Let's do that with, I don't know, these boxes. These regions. So the ones sticking out past left of column seven are these three. And they must be populated by the ones sticking to the right of column seven, a two, six, and a four or five, which is very handy. That has to be six. That can't be four or five, so it's two, and that is the four or five. Okay, that's useful. Useful law of leftovers edge. So six there. That can't be six. We've got three, four, and five to go in the column. Now, can we do some other law of leftovers stuff somewhere? Just need to find lines down which the grid is almost divided and use them.
Hmm. Oh, look, that's a three five seven triple now. So that's a six nine pair. Got to just do something in a region, haven't I? That is the same as that. Is that interesting? Almost. I'm just thinking that this is different from that, so this can't be four or five. I don't know, that's that's not doing anything. That is six or seven given everything it sees. This is three, six or seven. Uh, I do not have a sensible way of going about this. Now, maybe maybe let's think about the indexing again. So if that's a nine, this is seven and that's four. So the corollary is, if that's a nine, these are both fives. Then the only place for five to go in this region is there. Oh, this... But if that's a nine, this is a four, then that's a four. Ah, oh, getting confused. That's four, seven, or eight. Oh, something, something. Just explain yourself to me. That's not a six. Oh, that's a four, five pair. So that's a seven. Oh, that's simple enough. Right. So that sorts out the nine X wings. There we go. Six there. That's not nine. This is now four. That's now five. Okay, that's all the indexing done. And surely, surely, surely to goodness, we get a three seven pair. So that's not seven. Um, that's a three, in fact. That's a seven. I think this is going to work. Come on. Come on, keep going, keep going. Use the four, five pair again. We need a two in this row. Nine, three, two. We've got a three in this region. Yes. We've got a six in the region. Nine, two, three, seven, six. We've got a one, four, five, and eight to place. And these can't be four because of the column. So that's four. That's five. That becomes four, that becomes six, that's three, that's five. Oh, I'm going to limp over the line now. This is one of the puzzles where I'm absolutely afraid that many of you have not only made me look silly in terms of the time you've finished it in, but you've stared at the video going, why can't Mark see anything that is so clear, that is marked and unfortunately it's because I'm just not very clever at indexing and understanding things. It took me ages to understand first of all that relationship I just basically these corners kept throwing me especially these corners they just kept throwing me about how they had two different messages. Oh, it's a very clever puzzle Seren. I don't know if that's really the first puzzle by Seren or the first one we've featured, either way, it's brilliant. That is amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following along with me. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.